Mia Zapata and her band The Gits were part of a vibrant Seattle grunge music scene in the late 1980s and early 1990s. This movement launched several locally based bands and artists into international prominence. Zapata would not attain that next level when she left a Capitol Hill District Tavern in the late evening hours on July 7, 1993. She visited a friend briefly on the second floor of an apartment building where she lived in the basement. What followed that visit and her activities afterwards have remained unclear. Witnesses remember her wearing headsets and listening to music that would have made any stranger's approach inaudible. At 3 a.m., screams were heard two blocks from the tavern. A half hour later, her body was discovered dumped on a corner in the adjacent central district in a ritualistic crucifix position. Police concluded she had been beaten, strangled, and raped. For 10 years, the case remained unsolved until DNA matching traced her killer. He was convicted and remains currently incarcerated. Mia Zapata's legacy remains sadly local. The Gitz group disbanded following the demise of their lead singer.